advancements in artificial intelligence have been rapidly picking up steam lately. Just over the past few months alone, the release of a chatbot seems to have shaken up the world on many levels, offering at the same time exciting new opportunities while also raising some potential red flags. AI technology seems to threaten the business model of higher education all over the world as students have quickly learned to take AI-powered shortcuts in doing their homework. It has also begun to shake up creative industries, with large brands even cutting staff, already replacing humans with AI to write their content. So while the potential to automate and improve efficiency is undeniable, the rapid growth in artificial intelligence is raising important ethical questions, such as that of job displacement or the disruption of the academic experience. In this video, we will explore the world of ChatGPT, the technology that has turned the world upside down and has only just shown us a fraction of how our lives are about to change in the years and decades to come. And if any of this scares you, you can get ahead of the curve by learning the ins and outs of artificial intelligence the easy way with Brilliant.org, which also happens to be the sponsor of this video. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from foundational and advanced math to logic, astrophysics, neural networks, and more, with new lessons being added each month. When you sign up, they ask you a few questions about your current level of understanding of a few topics, and then they cater the lessons specifically to your needs. So as soon as you start the interactive challenges and puzzles, you will start learning before you even realize it. It's genuinely fun and exciting. I was already casually using their service before they decided to support the channel. And especially with its short daily challenges, Brilliant is a great way for casual users like myself to expand their knowledge and their mind. You can try Brilliant for yourself completely free for a full 30 days by visiting brilliant.org slash Andrei Tserba, that's A-N-D-R-E-I-T-E-R-B-E-A, -E -E or by clicking the link down in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription if you choose to continue once the free period has ended. A big thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring us. Now let's get back into the video. <laughs> ChatGPT is a computer program that launched in November of 2022 where you're basically having a sort of WhatsApp conversation with a robot that holds what feels like every piece of information that has ever existed, excluding everything after 2021 technically. But it can summarize books, it can rephrase your writing, write poetry, or it can explain quantum mechanics in a way that even a five-year-old could understand. The GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, which essentially means that it was trained on a large data set of text and can generate new responses based on what it has learned thus far. I asked ChatGPT, for example, to write a poem about Wilfer, and here's what it came up with. Wilfer the gander, with feathers so fine, soaring through skies, a majestic design, with honks so loud and a wingspan so wide, he glides through the clouds with grace and with pride. Wilfer the gander, so strong and so true, a symbol of freedom, a sight to pursue. Through fields and forests, he'll lead the way, with a spirit so wild, he'll never sway. Here's to Wilfer our feathered friend. May his journey never come to an end. With skies so wide and a heart so pure, he'll always be remembered forevermore. Keep in mind, this was written by a robot in about three seconds without requiring any context whatsoever. And it gets a whole lot more interesting than this. One of ChatGPT's strong points is that it's capable of summarizing and reinterpreting text. You can ask it to break down Shakespeare's works in a 10-page essay or write a dissertation on the parallels between ancient mythology and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This has obviously given students an insanely powerful tool to trick the academic grading system. Linguist and Professor Emery of linguistics Naomi Barron has praised ChatGPT for how good it is at writing. She states that, and I quote, it's better than most of the writing that I've gotten from students over the decades. No wonder then that these students are rushing to use the chatbot in their assignments. Writing coach Peter Laffin has stated in an interview that ChatGPT has the capacity to blow up our entire writing education curriculum. The more easily available this is for younger students, the more problems this will create. He concluded by saying, we may have to rethink education from the ground up. ChatGPT has even been banned in certain schools all across the globe from the US to Australia, from France to India, and many other countries in between. But while they can certainly try to block it all they want, you can only keep AI at bay for so long. The fact that it has caused so much uproar in schools and universities only exposes how superficial and outdated the education system is. I know from back when I was in school that there was a disproportionate focus on writing length and hitting certain keywords, churning out text rather than fostering critical thinking and encouraging students to use their imagination. And as long as the curriculum is broken, the use of AI will only expose its weak points. So perhaps ChatGPT might actually cause a positive change in this field. <laughs> 
Now, in the same way AI has impacted education, another industry where this tool is already making ripple effects is entertainment. Among companies that publish content online, whether it be on blogs, YouTube channels, even Twitter accounts, we can already see a rush to arms by those who see the potential. For example, BuzzFeed has laid off about 180 people, roughly 12% of their total workforce. Their CEO, Jonah Peretti, has come out and said that, and I quote, in 2023, you'll see AI-inspired content move from a research and development stage to part of our core business, enhancing the quiz experience, informing our brainstorming, and personalizing our content for our audience. Even sitcoms may never be the same. A Twitch channel called Watch Me Forever recently came up with an unconventional concept, a spoof of the popular 90s sitcom Seinfeld written and animated by AI that ran non-stop 24-7, generating an endless stream of new jokes that never repeated. The experiment, however, was pretty short-lived, as Twitch banned the channel when the characters started making offensive jokes. Despite the clunky execution though, the potential of such a concept is undeniably remarkable. So you may be asking, okay, are we just doomed? If AI is so powerful already, what hope do we have of ever landing a job in this market? And you would be equally correct and mistaken. Because while ChatGPT can certainly do a lot, it also has its limitations. In fact, I'm actually using ChatGPT myself to structure certain ideas for parts of this video, but it's still me who has to inform, rephrase, correct, rearrange, and sort through all of the output that it generates. Assuming you could just say, hey chat GPT, write me a script for a YouTube video and just record it and hit publish is very naive. Think of this chatbot as a very competent personal assistant. It does more or less anything you ask it to, but you still have to know what to ask and how to use the information it gives you. One thing that experts seem to agree on is that AI will not be able to fully become creative anytime soon, as in to generate entirely original ideas out of nothing without human input. I firmly believe that in a world that will get massively disrupted by artificial intelligence across all industries, the way to maintain your relevance on the market is to foster creativity. If you retain a creative mentality and learn to use AI to boost your productivity, you will become irreplaceable. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Have you tried using ChatGPT yet? Has it impacted your experience in any way, whether at school, at work, or simply for fun in your free time? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to learn more about how machine learning works, click up here to watch a previous video that I did that goes more in depth on this topic. In 2011, IBM's own computer system named Watson competed on the popular quiz show Jeopardy, winning the first place prize of $1 million. And in 2016, Google's AlphaGo computer won a against Go champion Lee Sedol after beating him four out of five times. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll see you again very soon.